How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get one of the drippiest armor pieces in Remnant 2, the Red Prince's Crown. And what does this crown do? Covers your bald spot. As well as some awesome items and completely broken mods you can snag along the way. The first thing you'll need to do is find the council chambers in Lawson. You're going to help these three solve the murder of the king. Sort of. After you talk to them, go and fight your way through the council chamber zone until you find this black mirror. Step through the mirror and you're going to find a darker mirrored version of the council chambers. Head back to the council room in this mirrored version and you'll find an empty room besides a couple of enemies. To open the door to the king's chambers you're going to have to solve a really easy puzzle involving these three pillars that the council sits on. All you have to do is remove these colored symbols and match them to the reflection on the floor. Once you do that the doors will open and you can head into the king's chambers. Approach the dead king and you can climb up on the left side of his throne. You just do a little parkour, you'll find this ring on the way up and then you can jump across and get the assassin's dagger. Now this is the part where you're going to deviate from the quest. To get the red prince's crown you're actually not going to finish this quest. If you'd rather finish the quest you can return to the council and make your accusation against whoever symbol matches the bottom of the blade which you can check out in your inventory. There will be a cool cutscene and you'll be rewarded with the ornate blade. Now if you do want the red prince's crown, instead of finishing the quest you're going to go and take the assassin's blade to Nemune and have her craft the assassin's blade for you. In order to get the Red Prince's crown, you're going to have to last hit him with this knife she makes for you. I'm pretty sure only the melee attacks count, so the bleed effect on the blade doesn't help. Take your new knife and go to the Gilded Hall's dungeon and fight your way through to the end. Confront the Red Prince and challenge him to a fight. Again, the only way to get the crown is if you last hit him with the knife. If you kill him with anything else, he's not going to drop the crown and you're going to have to re-roll and find him all over again, which can be a very defeating experience. Oh no, this is going to kill him! <gasps> no! Oh my goodness, the revive killed him. Oh, pain. So much pain. It's worth noting, it doesn't matter what difficulty you fight him on, so I'd recommend the easiest one because there's really no point in trying on any harder difficulties unless you're just trying to be a sweat or show off. Whatever you want to do though. Last hit him with a knife and congratulations, he will drop you the crown and you can steal his drip. My crown! <laughs> Killing him in any other way will also drop you an item that can be crafted into the Firestorm mod, which is a pretty busted mod that does a ton of fire damage to enemies, but can also one-shot you if you accidentally get sucked in, so be careful with that. I just want to go over the other option with the Red Prince real quick, and that's to pay him his tribute. To do this, you just have to fight his Red Knights, which you'll find throughout the dungeon here, and they'll drop these Crimson Coins. Um, you just need three of them, and you can pay him to skip the fight. You can't get his crown this way, but after a cool cutscene, you'll wake up with a new item in your inventory that you can craft into another pretty cool mod called Bloody Chains. This mod tags groups of enemies in front of you and pulls them towards you, chunking them for huge damage and bleeds them for damage over time. It's a pretty cool looking mod. And there you have it. Let me know what you guys think of these mods in the comments, and good luck getting your crown. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. As always, thanks for watching.